In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SPSS to compute a new variable. The example I'm going to use is a data file where we've collected data on a random sample of people. We've given them a survey. We've asked them on the survey what their gender is, male or female, their age, their weight, their height, their ethnicity. And then we had them complete the Rosenberg self-esteem scale. This is a commonly available used measure to measure people's self-esteem. There are 10 items in the Rosenberg self-esteem scale and they're used measuring a Likert type response format ranging from strongly agree to strongly disagree. So here you can see the 10 items that, that make up this particular construct and the response scale here. One of the things that you'll notice is that to measure self-esteem, you have to use all of these particular indicators. So if we wanted to do an analysis on self-esteem, we wouldn't just use these individual indicators or individual survey questions because all of these items here make up the construct self-esteem. What we have to be able to do prior to data analysis is construct a score for self-esteem. The scoring instructions for the Rosenberg self-esteem score is to simply sum all of the scores for each one of the items. So what we're going to do in SPSS is we are going to make a summary score that is the sum of all of their responses. So you can see the response format ranges from 5 to 1 and there are 10 items. So the highest score somebody could get on the Rosenberg self-esteem scale is 50. 5 times these 10 items would be 50. The lowest score they could get would be 10. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to compute a scale score simply by summing all of the participant responses for each individual for each of these 10 items and I can call that self-esteem score. So let's go take a look how we can do that in SPSS. So I had all of my responses from each subject or participant in my study and they each gave me a score for each one of the 10 items on the Rosenberg self-esteem scale. This is what the variable view looks like in SPSS. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use the compute variable function to sum all of the scores for each of the 10 items. And it's going to place that sum score here. So to do that, I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to select compute variable. You can see all of the variables in my data file are on the left hand side. And so what I'm going to do is tell SPSS compute this new variable and I'm going to call it self-esteem or SE score and then I can also give it a label and I'm going to call this total self-esteem score. So all I've done is specify the new variables variable name and the new variables label. Now what I need to do is tell SPSS that I would like to sum all of the scores for those 10 items. So what we can see here is that here is the first one so I'm going to highlight that and move it over here. Remember that was the score for the first item and then I'm going to click on the plus sign and then I'm going to take the second one and move that over there and click on the plus sign. Remember we're, the instructions to get a a scale score for the Rosenberg self-esteem scale is to sum all of the items. The highest score that a person can get is 50, the lowest score that they could get is 10, higher score represents that they have higher self-esteem. So let's keep going with this compute variable command. We'll put the next one in and click on plus. Notice I'm using the calculator here. Click on the next one and then plus item number five and then plus. Again, all we're doing is summing the items. You want to make sure that you don't leave any out of your computation. 
So you can see here, what I'm telling S SPSS to do is create this new variable, self-esteem score, with this label, and I've told it it's going to equal the sum of these 10 items because I'm adding up these items. I could click on paste and that would create that command into a syntax file that I can run that syntax file. But normally what we do is we simply cl just click on OK and it will run that command. So you can see it did that command. It said compute this new variable. It's the sum of all of these items. The new variable name is SE score with the label total self-esteem score. Now if I go back to my data file, you'll see if it's placed that new compute variable, the variable that I just computed at the end of my data file. And so one of the things you want to do is make sure that it did it right. And there's two ways you can do that. One, you can take out your calculator and just take one or two or three of the um, records and simply calculate it by hand. So if I take 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3, I should get 32. The second thing that you can do is you can do a frequency distribution on your new computed variable to be sure that the range doesn't exceed what you would expect. So we have 10 items in the Rosenberg self-esteem score and it's measured from strongly agree with a score of five to strongly disagree with a score of one. So we shouldn't see any scores that are less than 10 or greater than 50. So to do that frequency distribution, we can go to analyze. We can go down to descriptive statistics, choose frequencies and take that variable that we just computed, the one we want to examine, move that over and click on OK. And what we can see is that none of the scores are greater than 50 and are less than 10. And that makes sense. You can also see that most of the scores are in the low 40s. So most people have an above average uh, self-esteem. That's not uh, of, of issue here, but you can see what we're looking for is to see if any scores exceeded 50 or any scores were less than 10. That would let us know that there's a problem in our new computed variable. So again, what we did to review is we've got this scale or questionnaire and we need to come up with a total score. We can see we have a Likert type response format ranging from 5 to 1 with 10 items. The instructions to get the scale scores, we need to sum all of these up so we can have one single score that we can use in our analysis. We use the compute variable command to do that. We specified the variable name and the variable label, and then we told it exactly what to do. Now, just in the future, notice you could do different arithmetic commands. So for example, one of the things that you could do is you could say, take um, someone's height and square it and then divide it by their weight, and that would allow you to compute BMI because the BMI uh, score is somebody's um, weight squared divided by their height. So you can do a number of different variable computations here. Well, I hope this was uh, helpful in learning how to compute a new variable. As always, if you have questions, make sure that you come by and see me during my office hours.